going to do another Work Wide Wednesday and today I'm going to be talking about this my skin and the skin treatment that I've been undergoing these past weeks actually. I asked you in one of my previous videos if you were interested in seeing such a video and most of you guys were like please do a video about your treatment because you were interested and I have been talking quite a lot about it because it has been a real problem of mine and a real issue of mine. The treatment that I'm undergoing right now is really drying to my skin and my skin is still not feeling like itself but it is getting better. I've got two disclaimers just to put out there before we actually begin the video. One being, don't mind my skin right now. I'm, you know, it's that time of the month and um, it's just going crazy. Um, the second being that this treatment may not be for everybody and um, I'm still undergoing the treatment so um, it is not over yet so I haven't seen the full beneficial things from it yet but I'll get into that in the video but this skin treatment may not work for everybody some people may be allergic to it as well so if you want to try out this skin treatment that I'm undergoing right now please be cautious and do your research and make sure that you know which kind of skin type you've got. And a third disclaimer, just also bear in mind that I am by no means like a professional in any way. I kind of like try to find the right skin treatment for myself by myself. I haven't studied in this or anything like that. This is just what I figured out. So first is some background story and you may have heard this a million times but I'm going to mention it again. Um, in November, December time last year, my skin went cray cray and um, it wasn't really breakout, so it, but it was kind of like rosacea and just um, a rashy kind of thing going on on my cheeks especially and it was really itchy and I could just see that my skin just wasn't looking like itself or feeling like itself. I basically felt like that I was living in another person's body because I couldn't like recognize my own skin and my makeup wouldn't like look as good and you know the thing is that if you've got good skin you've got good makeup and I just had way too many bad makeup days because it just felt so ugly because my skin was just looking very uneven and just yeah bumpy because of all of the rashiness it was very itchy as I said so I was scratching a bit because I just couldn't help myself and I know that's so 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 wrong and you shouldn't do that actually you shouldn't touch your face too much at all with your fingers so I know that you know like scratching because it was itchy wasn't the right way to go at all and it also created some minor scarring or beginning scarring um, so it was just making me very insecure and very unlike myself and I've made a video about how I felt so insecure about my skin um, and I'll leave that video down below if you want to see that. I've been trying so many different like skincare products, both drugstore, high-end, nothing would work. Um, even though I felt like, oh now it's finally clearing up, now it's finally starting to fade, it would come back. And by the beginning of this year, of 2015, I was like, this is enough. I can't live with this anymore. I've never had trouble with um, bad skin or anything like that, a problem skin, so it was just also new to me and it made me feel so unhappy. I was just like, I can't deal with this anymore. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm going to get some treatment. I'm going to find out what I can do to make this better. So what I did was that I actually got an appointment with my doctor and um, I didn't really ever go to that one, but I got a consultation online where I actually talked to my doctor and she was telling me that maybe I should try some um, pills, they've got some pills that you can get for like acne prone skin and I was like, well, it is not acne, it's not pimples, it's not like blackheads or whiteheads or anything like that it is like, not rosacea either, but like some red spotty kind of things and I was just like, what can this be? But what they told me was that either I could go on those pills or else they wasn't quite sure what to do then I had to get in there and actually have a consultation with them um, face to face and I was like, well I already know what they're going to advise me to do and I don't want to take any pills. Therefore I decided, fine, if they can't help me, I'm going to find out myself what to do. Um, so what I did was that I went online and I found a website called polishchoice.com, talked about this one before, and there I was actually searching, they had a lot of like articles about different skincare treatments and stuff like that, and then I found a treatment called retinol which is kind of like vitamin A. I was like, well that sounds interesting because what it is, is that it is collagen boosting. 
so it like boosts the production of new cells like new skin cells and I was like well maybe that's the thing that I need because maybe I need to get all of the old skin away and then start fresh with some new skin and I was like well maybe that's the way to go because it kind of refines pores and evens out skin tone and hides dark spots or dark areas and hyperpigmentation and stuff like that and I was just like well maybe that's the way to go so I ordered, um, let me just show you this um, treatment, this is the Polishers Clinical 1% Retinol Treatment this is for all skin types and this is with peptides and vitamin C. I read some reviews and I only read some really great reviews about it. Obviously I did my research before actually getting it, but it's actually very affordable considering all of the good ingredients and that it's fragrance free and not animal tested. It's just very clean in its ingredients, which I really personally prefer and like. When I got it, I was finally like, yes, finally I can try this out. And then I read the directions which says, Limit initial use to three times per week, gradually increase frequency to every other night and then finally each uh, evening as tolerated. Apply a pea-sized amount after cleansing and slash or toning in the evening. Carefully avoid the lips, eyes and the corners of the eyes. And then I was like, well, then I'll just take three nights in a row and I should never have done that. <laughs> because, because of my skin having been really sensitive, it was just sucking it all and seriously, it was very like drying to my skin, like seriously so 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 drying. I mean, I could see that all of my old skin was just peeling off and honestly I couldn't wear makeup. It was sitting on top of the skin and it was very irritating to my skin. It felt like that my skin was burning whenever I wore a foundation or even concealer. It was really unnice and unpleasant. And honestly, I had two weeks almost where I did nothing else but staying at home. Seriously. I was afraid to go out because my skin was looking horrible and red and irritated and also because it is retinal treatment it is important to use a high SPF in order not to get any sunburn on your skin and I was just afraid of like damaging my skin and also the new skin that was coming through all of the old so I was just trying to stay home all day and then when I had to go out I would either wear just a really light tint of moisturizer or just some concealer, just very, very, very light makeup that wouldn't aggravate my skin too much. And as soon as I would get home, I would take off all of the makeup and then put, apply like a huge amount of moisturizer on my skin um, because it needed it. And once again, this is a totally new situation for me because my skin has always been normal to slightly oily, whereas now it is dry, like it's like a desert right now. Um, and I just feel like that that is very unpleasant because your skin feels a bit tight and a bit flaky as well and your makeup just doesn't look as nice on your skin as if it's like just normal. I got totally sidetracked there. As I said, I used this three nights in a row and I should never have done that because it really just made everything peel off and I spent two weeks just staying in bed and not doing anything and I just realized this is way too harsh for me to use so many times a week um, and I would recommend you guys to only use it in the night time just because of sun damage and so on to your skin so I think I'm only going to use it like once a month just to get all of the old skin away and some new refreshed skin cells out so that is definitely my personal experience with this one other people who haven't got like sensitive skin they may be able to use it three four nights in a row without having any troubles but for you guys with sensitive skin please be cautious and careful because it is seriously stripping. It is seriously effective. So please be aware of that. Trust me, it works. With the skin treatment, I also bought the Clinical Scar Reducing Serum from Polish Choice. This is also for all skin types. And I bought this one because I had some beginning scarring on my um, cheeks because I've been scratching so much. Um, so I thought this is a good way to combat, you know, like any beginning scarring because I don't want that. Honestly, I really like this one. This is a holy grail product for me and I would not be able to live without this one anymore. I really love it so, so much. It's kind of like a gel texture that you just apply wherever you need it. And I only use like one pump and then I just spread it out evenly on my um, cheeks. And I've seen a huge difference in my skin and I really truly love it and I swear by it. Now because as I said I am not by any means a specialist in this area. I just went online and I wanted to um, research a bit on uh, retinol and what it basically is and what it does and so on and all of the beneficial 
things that it can do for your skin because I've been reading through this and I just want you guys to know exactly what I know. So I'm just going to read out loud what it says right here. It says, what is retinol? Simply put, retinol is just another name for vitamin A, as I mentioned before. Retinol is an extremely effective cell communicating ingredient, which means it can literally connect to almost any skin cell and tell it to behave like a healthy, younger skin cell. But there's more. Retinol is an antioxidant and thus can interrupt with free um, radical damage process that causes the skin to look and act older. This action helps prevent wrinkling and increases collagen production, as I also mentioned. And um, retinol is effective at managing acne uh, as well as improving discolorations and wrinkles from sun damage. So as you can hear, it can do so many great things for your skin. And that is also why this one can be used for all skin types because whether you've got like acne prone skin or sensitive skin or oily skin, whatever kind of skin you've got, you can use a retinol treatment. Now here's the only thing, as I said in the beginning also, that you have to be aware of. Not everyone's skin can tolerate retinol. It may cause irritation such as redness and flaking, especially for those new to using it, which I definitely experienced, as I told you before. So I can't really use it like every single day because it's just way too harsh on my skin. It also says exposure to sunlight can make your retinol unstable, so it's best to apply it at night, as I also advise you to do. And if you use it in the mornings, definitely wear a high SPF, I would say, 30 plus. And because sunlight can make the retinol unstable, it is very important to go for um, containers that are like airtight. So it's not a jar package, but it's like in this kind of a packaging because else it will be unstable and not work as efficient and as good as if it's in that kind of a packaging. So the last thing I just want to mention before ending this video because I feel like I've been talking so, so, so much and giving you so much information is how I feel with my skin now. And apart from that, it's that time of the month and I've got some minor breakouts here and there because of, you know, the thing, the girly thing. Um, then I feel like my skin is much more even, much more smooth and um, I do see a difference in my skin and I'm going to continue using it because I see a difference. It has been a good experience but there's definitely also been some bad things with it. And I would say the first two to three weeks um, with the treatment are very, very, very difficult and very, not painful but just mentally painful because your skin is flaking off and just looking not that good. Um, but I would say afterwards, you can see and tell a difference. Your skin is much more smooth. Yeah, I, I, I'm really happy with the result. And if you use this one um, as well, then you're really good to go. And as I said, you can use it for all skin types. So um, I would definitely recommend it. But just be aware of all of those small things that I mentioned to you. Some skin just can't tolerate um, retinol A because it's simply just way too harsh and way too effective, um, so just remind yourself of that before you actually buy it and go crazy with it. My skin, it can tolerate it, but only in really low doses, like only one to two times a month. You can firstly tell if there's a difference uh, when you've hit like the eight week mark, then you'll truly be able to see a difference. So I'm obviously still waiting, but I would say the thing that has seriously made a difference so far is the scar reducing serum. I saw a difference right away when I started using that one. So if you've got like scars from acne or because you've been scratching or whatever, try that serum because it really works. And that was all for this video guys. I really hope this was informative for you guys and it could help you if you are looking for some kind of skin treatment um, that is really effective as well and that actually works without promising any spectacular results. I mean, this is working. Seriously, it does work, but it takes time. Just skincare in general, it takes time and it, it is not a miracle worker, but it does work. If you've got any questions for me at all, please leave them down below in the comment section and I'll try to answer as many of them as possible. And then I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That would mean so, so much to me and yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! The last thing I'm going to show you in the makeup section, I don't even know if you can call this makeup, is the nail polish. This is from 